Radha Bhagavan has given very simple theory. Suppose if you say this is my watch, then watch and you must be separate. Wherever you put the word my, my cloth, my body, so I must be separate from belongings. So all belongings in comes in my department. So you are honor, so you must be separate from all belongings. Then, what about your mind? You says, I am thinking, but sometimes you say, I don't like some bad thoughts. So you don't like is another part, and bad thoughts are another part. So both must be separate. So thoughts are, you says, my thoughts. So you are honor, so thought must be separate. My speech, so separate I and my. What comes in I, what comes in my. My thoughts, my intellect, Ego comes in I or my? My ego. How you say it to me? My ego hurt. So it is my department, not in I. So you are totally separate from ego also. Then outer things, my wife, my children, my husband, my business, my job, my property. It, obviously, it is totally separate from you. So, here what happened? I and my, they're mixed. But uh, sometimes we say, I am hurt. I am hurt. hurt. Yeah. Yeah. I am engineer, I am doctor, I am husband. But you are permanently husband? If your child comes, so you are husband or a father. So with respect to hus wife, you are husband, with respect to child, you are father, with respect to father, you are son. So it is also relative, it is also temporary. With respect to train, you are passenger. So what is really you are? If I say I am permanent engineer, suppose, but if instrument is there, machinery is there, then only I can be as engineer. And if I have to admit in hospital, so I will be patient. So you are engineer or you are patient. <laughs> so it is relative terms. So what, really what you are? Yeah. Hmm? yeah, soul, but what are the property? Who is speaking? This I am soul, soul. So speech is speaking, body is speaking, ego is speaking, soul is speaking. So we don't know exactly what is mechanism going inside. Who is the doer behind all this happening? So, how to separate I and my? Suppose gold, silver, copper, everything is mixed in ornament. Layman will say this is a gold ornament. But if we go to goldsmith, he says, no, this is not 100% gold. There is a mixture. Suppose it becomes black. Say our gold spoiled. No, but really gold is not spoiled. It is pure inside. So what what which part is spoiled? So you must know. But layman doesn't know. Because silver if a mixture in silver is more, it becomes black. Sometimes gold the copper is more, it becomes green. So we here we know in uh, general what happened to ornament. But in our uh, body mechanism or s spirituality, we doesn't know why this anger comes, why this pride, deceit, everything. So we are feeling, we are believing that anger, our soul is doing anger. But really soul is doing anger? Other element is there with soul. So why everything happen, we must know. So f separation of gold and other element, if you say I will worship for 12 hours every day, still you can separate gold from other element? No. No. If you do meditation, still you cannot separate. You chant any mantra, still you cannot separate. If you do puja, whatever, but still you can't separate. How to separate? If you want to separate gold from other element, what you have to do? You have to go to goldsmith only. Suppose you purchase some chemical from shop, still you cannot do, because you, you, 
inside you feel it may spoil i may lose my gold so goldsmith he knows the property of gold property of other element he know how to separate both the element he can separate gold from other element without spoiling anything so here is nada bhagwan is a goldsmith and he has discovered the whole process experiment how to separate pure soul from other element 